we've now got our content in and what we actually want to do is have a look at our folder I've got my index the layout and an images folder and inside the images folder I've got the images that I'm going to want to use for it the first one I'm going to want to use is this background title now I've gone into Photoshop and I've made a background title that is the size that I want it to be how do I know what size it is well I knew that my container was going to be 768 pixels wide so that's how wide I want that image to be how deep or how long I want that image to be down the page is completely up to me and I've made it a random amount it doesn't really matter how big I make it because the rest of the text in here this area here that I'm going to use as the header will automatically increase to fit whatever size I determine it and this text here will automatically push down to allow it to fit into place so let's go and put something into our web page put our first picture in I am going to put my header information at the bottom of the page it doesn't really matter where any of this goes but I'm just going to put it at the bottom here so that my style sheet starts off with the body tag which is the whole document then I've gone through and I've set up the styling for each of the divs and now I'm going to go and start coding some of the smaller elements the h1 tag doesn't need a hash in front of it because it is not a div it's not a divided up piece of the page what is the h1 tag the h1 tag is just simply the top of the container that says Tim Berners-Lee and what do I want it to do I want it to have a background that is an image then the image is title back to dot jpg it doesn't repeat and it sits at the top left there's no margin on it it's got a little bit of padding around it this is the fonts that I want to use this font family I want the font size to be 250 percent of its normal size and I want the font weight to be bold and I want the color of the font to be FFF which essentially is white let's save that and go have a look and see what we've created now in my index page I've now got my Tim Berners-Lee page at the top I've got the padding that pushed around the sides there I'll explain padding a little bit later and it's automatically pushed this banner in and pushed the rest of the page out this is actually starting to look a lot more like a web page and we've built the whole thing from scratch I'm on a bit of a roll with this now our web page is starting to take shape I've still got no styling features on my HTML all of my styling features are on my layout CSS I've gone through and I've got the h1 tag put in so I may as well go quite quickly and put my h2 and h3 tags in my h2 tags are just gonna be those tags that will affect the h2 headings which are my subheadings subheading subheading and it will also affect my level 3 tags which are coming up in the contact area I've got an h3 for postal phone and email so all I want to do is in my CSS have a look at the information that I've put in I have put in a margin I've put in some padding I've put a background image for my h2 tags which was that gradient image the gradient image was this image here that is that orange color that's just dark at one end and light at the other just to break up the page a little bit made in Photoshop and it says go to the images folder where the rest of the website stored and open up gradient.gif don't repeat it put it in the top left make the font size for H2 115% make them bold make them this color and put a border on at the very bottom of the h2 tags which is one pixel solid in this color here the colors the pixel lengths of the borders the font weights the sizes can all be changed up to whatever you want the h3 tags are the same margins font sizes font weights font colors 
This way, if I had all of those H2 tags and I wanted to change them, I could easily change one setting in here and it would instantly change all of them. It's not so important when it's only three or four H2 tags on a document, but if I put all of those other pages in, all of the ones like employment, goals, interests, recommends, and galleries, and they all add H2 tags in them, I could spend a long time going through and changing each H2 tag if I didn't like the way it initially looked, or I could just go and change the settings in here and it would affect all of those styles. Let's go and see what this looks like. Save it, minimize that into our web design folder. Let's open index.html and you can now see that that style sheet has suddenly applied it. There's that gradient border, there's the gradient get GIF, there's my headings which I've changed the font, the style, I've put an orange underline under each one and they're sitting all the way through. My web page is definitely starting to look much better now. I'm looking at my web page and I've just realized I don't want to constrain myself or to limit my ability to edit the differences on this page and make it look different by having every single H2 tag look the same. What I might want is for the H2 tags inside the content to look one way and the H2 tags inside the navigation to look another. I can't go into my style sheet and add separations in here for exactly what I want because this is a global H2. It means it will affect all of the H2s. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a code in that is going to specifically allow me to go up to our navigation and change our navigation codes only. So I want to say in here I want all of the H2s to look the same except for the ones in navigation. So all I'm going to do is put a code in that says remember to look in the navigation div to do that. It's the hash key at the beginning and look inside there for just the H2 tags and when you see those H2 tags I want you to apply this color to them. Let's see if that works. We'll save it, minimize it, we'll go into our web design folder and we'll open up index.html. And now you can see here I have got my more information which is an H2 tag inside the navigation div a different color from these ones here. Let's have a look and see how our web pages started to develop over time. There is chunks missing but it'll give us an idea. Here was our initial page where we started putting the containers in. There was all our containers in. Here's where we started to get our content in. Here's where we're starting to style that content. Sorry, here's where we're styling our heading and getting our headers all of the same. Here's where I applied the style to the headers as a whole. And this one here is where I've now individualized the style for specific areas. So you can see the power of the CSS for styling a website and allowing that styling to be separate from the content so that it's more easily manipulated.